Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to do the masculine read from late yesterday and the feminine read from this morning, as well as uh, a little bit of sand art and oracle cards at the end. Okay, today um, is November 16th, 2018, and I'm actually going to review just a little bit from yesterday, November 15th, and then come into today. And I'm going to start with the sand art. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well today. We had our first uh, big snow yesterday, so it made everything really pretty. I'm going to show you the, the reads. This is the masculine read from yesterday. And then this is the Divine Feminine read for today, this morning. So first I'm going to do the sand art real quick and then we'll get into the reeds. So for the sand art, uh, what was coming up, and this is from last night, was a guardrail was the first thing I saw coming around the bend, the ripple effect, flying carpet, sleds, uh, rolling up your yoga mat, uh, putting down a, ble a beach blanket smoothing the ice, so ice skating rinks opening, um, rolling out the red carpet, a mailbox that's stuffed, a peach pit, um, this, a, beach, a beach pit could be coming up as well, maybe a fire on the beach, snake, so I'm seeing a cobra and rattlesnake, as well as Lucy from the Peanuts or Charlie Brown, also sign posts, uh, window shades, liver damage, seal, so it could be the animal, but also it could be like, make sure you seal yourself. And then also um, an Italian horn. Um, that's what came up in the sand art today. There wasn't a whole lot going on, but it was kind of a, the snow, it kind of like was this, yesterday was like a, like a timeout day. Oh, and the sexual energy returned yesterday. That'll come up during the reads. Definitely that came up. So now the sexual energy, yeah, definitely started feeling it yesterday and it's still continuing today. So yesterday was November 15th, 2018. Uh, and it was the 15 of the devil and the day added up to 37, which was the king of cups. But the king of cups has been coming up reversed a lot. So be careful about the king of cups. That could be a water sign energy or just someone who's normally very loving but if they're reversed they could be very manipulative or emotionally detached or just um, in a bad mood like really kind of grumpy emotional or over emotional but the devil's coming up here too but in the same right I've been getting the devil reversed a lot so people detoxing as opposed to that outright devil energy but either way the king of cups and the devil came up yesterday so the shadow side of the king of cups and actually, when I did the Divine Feminine read yesterday, and yesterday was 37, it was done at 1037, and then um, 44 was coming up. Some of the numbers that came up yesterday were 99, 26, 1044, as well as 4221. And the, the coding was all about the chariot yesterday for the feminine. Um, a lot of stuff, definitions came up about the chariot. And also the the word adai came up and it translates to sort of always in Hebrew. So it's getting um, information about the chariot and the nine of wands, so the wounded warrior is coming up. But the chariot's all about the person in charge, goal-oriented, confident, overcoming obstacles. That's also about travel and moving and, you know, big, bold moves. It's really, you know, traditionally about very warlike energy. 
but it also can be ascension. So there's two definitions that were coming up here from the coding. And 8, 2017 was coming up. And the Sumer, the, when I pulled up chariot, Sumerian war chariot was coming up, uh, which was from Ur. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly, but this was um, southeast of Babylon or modern day South Iraq. Uh, where the royal tombs are as well but this was this was coming up as Ur as the time of the Sumerian war chariot and it was about 889 people possibly and the chariot demonstrating power kind of like um, Ni or Nai right from Monty Python which is paralleling also to Ur, that, so that there's a reason that this time period is coming up. Ur, or Ur, you are, again, this is from Sumerian times, okay? I was also getting uh, the difference between 3D and 5D of this coding had to do with, in 3D, that 8, the number 8 always, it becomes 9, because power and control always lead to an ending. In the 5D, 8 always 9, because zero point ascension is always compassion. Okay, so those are the differences between the 3D and the 5D perspectives. Also tanning beds were coming up yesterday, which was kind of random. And I had lunch at the blue sage today, so blue and sage were coming up for sure. And the snow yesterday, it was just beautiful yesterday. So it's like, uh, you know, with the first snow, it's like a clean slate. So that's coming up as well. So I'm going to start with the, um, the Divine Masculine yesterday was done at 123, actually 121 to 123 yesterday. Uh, the major arcana were um, Solar Deity, which is the sun in the Syrian Starseed deck, Alchemy, which is the Temperance card, the Wheel of Fortune, and then Karma, which is actually the Judgment card. There was one pentacle for the Divine Masculine yesterday, three cups, two wands, and one sword. So heavy on the emotional energy. The court cards were the, king, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Um, the cards that were in the outliers, not in the formal read, but the after the card read, as well as the before the card read, were uh, the Nine of Pentacles, which I often see as a person. It's that independent person. Sometimes it's a teen, but sometimes it can come up with the Divine Feminine a lot. And also the Knight of Cups was coming up as the after card. But for the formal read, it was the Queen of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. So it's about two queens, so it could be friends or sisters of the uh, Divine Feminine, as well as children. Or for the divine, I'm sorry, this is a divine masculine read. So people related to the divine masculine. But again, it could be it's two queens, so it could be relatives, it could be children, sisters, friends, whatever it is. There was a lot of people. There's five different energies here. Um, for the coding for the divine masculine yesterday, it was all about teaching and learning. And I was getting like to the nth degree for the divine masculine to expand and contract. Okay. And I was getting Pi again, which is the integration of self, the masculine and feminine within yourself. And the, I was getting the grace of sage, flames, urgent for the divine feminine. So for the masculine to assist the feminine in that way, in clearing. And then the restaurant I was coming up, the blue sage was coming up. But the grace of sage. And then to integrate self, so the masculine and feminine self, or the God passion, and the G-spot was coming up as well, um, but wise, which is wise for um, emergent dealings with the divine feminine, or it could be a karmic energy as well, but it's all about teaching and learning each other, okay, even if it's just energetic. Also is getting E-R-E-S, which is Education Complete is an organization that helps with education completed out the United States, outside the United States. 
as well as um, meaning in Spanish, you are. So it's about um, expansion and new passion, but staying at zero point. So when you expand, make sure you have, you know, you've that time to integrate afterwards. Okay, and then connect, reconnect again with your higher self or God for that new passion. Make sure if there's a lot of passion, make sure you clear, use sage or whatever you need to clear. You know, if you need something emergently, real quick, it's su suggesting sage. But that you are wise and you are teacher and student. So during this, like I said, the sexual energy started up when I was actually doing the Divine Masculine read. Um, definitely feeling my twin through to about, was that um, a little after two o'clock yesterday afternoon? So it starts out with the wise, pure one, comfortable but alone, missing her one and only. As he or she is sad, he has turned his back and not offered a new life to her destiny. So and I was getting, uh, whether it's Hawaii Five O or the age of 50, I was getting that as coming up as something significant for the Divine Masculine. Um, the lovers together but alone. Recently, recently, maybe someone was in Hawaii, maybe they felt each other when they were in Hawaii, something about that coming up, but having felt alone. Um, definitely energy of the... Um, um, being magnetized right now is coming up, so the, the, the masculines are going to start feeling the pull. So the my, masculines are learning to meditate um, passion, and passionately wanting to ride in is coming up through a portal and give a hand. Um, and then I was getting uh, Horseshoe Bay in, in Bermuda, actually. Um, offering a new life on, in one hand and his passion in the right with growth. And kind of energy of the masculine, like how, how can he get back into the Divine Feminine's good graces or how can he repay you for... I was getting that all of a sudden maybe, he's, maybe he hasn't been able to perform like he usually can sexually and all of a sudden he gets his sexual energy back and he was like, like, like saying, thank you, how can I repay you for, <laughs> for giving this back to me or something like that? It's kind of interesting energy. After sitting in uncomfortable feelings and or emotions, aligning with their knowing, a messenger of truth to release independence to transformation, creativity in death and rebirth. So if the Divine Master was creatively blocked, maybe he got some of his um, his idea, his creativity was coming back and it might have to do with connecting sexually yesterday. Um, but also the sexual energy, if they're, you know, like I said, it's very common in the, in the uh, twin flame journey for some of the men not to, to be able to have an erection. Um, they may not, you know, be wondering what's wrong with them, but these are some of the things that come up sometimes. So maybe they're having trouble and all of a sudden they're not having trouble anymore. So there's something around that energy. Um, so the, the underlying energy is from Romance Angels were let your friends help you and under that was healing family issues. So that's what the Divine Masculine has been dealing with, family issues, but now to let your friends help you. New love with an Empress Kundalini energy coming up as well as a blue shield. So there may be insurance, well, you know, insurance, it's time to sign up for insurance in the United States, so that might be coming up as well. But it's literally getting a blue shield to shield yourself with the blue. Okay, new love with Empress Kundalini and Blue Shield in 5D transformation about to load his arrow and shoot. His understanding is that we meet in death or removal of the veil, not understanding that the veil is thinning now in this life. And then the other underlying energy that was coming up was abundance. So I was getting energy of someone having holding back money or maybe somebody was turned down for a loan or a new life because they're holding because they held back the truth 
It's like the karmic knew about the Divine Feminine energy was coming up. Also, and possibly people saying goodbye. The Knight of Wands is ready to ride, ready to rumble, to release stuck emotions of the Sapphire Eye, which was interesting. The Sapphire Eye, it was also coming up like a, uh, it was very, um, it meant something to me, but it was like a class ring with a sapphire, uh, but like a, a solid stone, opaque, not a, a cut stone. So it's getting like a man's ring like that, or a sapphire eye. And also then I was getting blue eyes, and then Frank Sinatra came up. So not only Frank Sinatra, but actually the song sang Frank Sinatra from Cake, as well as Going the Distance, okay? So you have to listen to the, you have to read the lyrics to those two songs. And that was at 222 yesterday. The song, Frank Sinatra, and Going the Distance, both from Cake. Um, some of the lyrics from, from Going the Distance is, um, going the distance, going for speed. She's all alone in her time of need, okay? So he can't find, the, and, and Spirit's connecting with me, or my masculine's connecting with me. Um, it's like uh, the masculine's feeling like he can't find peace without her, and that in the death portal there is passion, wanting now to see his reflection, whereas before he may not have wanted to. It was kind of funny, actually. Um, I was just thinking about this. It came up in my mind for some reason that uh, one of the first things my twin ever said to me was like, like, you're right, I don't need another me. <laughs> so that was very ironic. And that was like within the first month that I met him that he said that. So recently, the Divine Masculine possibly paying out to a Queen of Wands reversed in order to alchemize or make peace with an independent. Um, could be a Virgo lover coming up here. But it was like, but they're not the same. Like Queen of Wands reversed with one person and then this is another person. So the twin or however the situation plays out. So he's paying out to someone in order to make peace, to get peace on that side of things um, with this other independent um, Earth or Virgo um, lover energy. Um, and he was, I was getting energy like that he would die for her. So whether this is a child or a twin or a karmic, that's the energy, okay? But the Queen of Wands was not that energy, that was reversed. The foundation had to do with the sun exposing, working on details without hope, so losing hope of assisting the hermit in exposing his depression. So it's like, um, some of the things that Divine Mass is going through, through or being exposed. Maybe he's losing hope. And, you know, it's a private person who doesn't want other people to know that they're depressed. Maybe that information is coming up. Maybe because someone watches reads or watches regular tarot reads for the different signs. Whatever it is, centrally, the energy is of injustice in fighting or competing, but without peace. With the Queen of Cups fighting for her destiny, the Divine Masculine's being challenged by new passion to lay down his sword and any insincerity, stress or jealousy and crying for a passionate new love at night with angel present. Now in the head and heart of the Divine Masculine, the Page of Cups is cracking his open heart, or cracking open his heart. The King of Wands reversed is coming up here, was unhappy and angry and negative, wanting the cup of the High Priestess, who could also be the Queen of Cups, may be upset that the Divine Feminine um, won't be around for the holiday, wanting to tell her his thoughts at night, but maybe controlled by his or her. Somebody might have a drinking issue or just wanting new passion with her to discuss things with 
the Queen of Cups. Hung up, maybe there's a Divine Masculine who likes his Divine Feminine's legs for sure. Uh, maybe he likes her family money as well. As well as a nightmare of her, of her messages about being connected, yet alone and okay on her own. So if the Divine Masculine, you know, he's, he's going to be confused on his end, just as the Divine Feminine is in any messages it may come across or that he sees in the 3D, it may be confusing to him whether she's with someone, whether she's okay without him and doesn't want him at back anymore. Um, and they're probably feeling a lot of um, guilt and that kind of thing. It's not thinking that the Divine Feminine would take them back, that kind of thing. So this energy is coming up. But soon detoxing, anxiety, and not having expressed feelings, waiting for nothing and falling on his face. So detoxing all from all these things because he was lacking faith, excited to date, and possibly introduce kids to his divine feminine. He is his own destiny, maybe seeing that now about himself, having more confidence in himself, willing to learn but shy, or maybe a little bit emotionally immature, bringing to light emotional detachment and his own guardedness. Also, um, destiny with their kids and letting down his guard. Uh, the Romance Angels cards were very soon and past life relationship. Around him, the energy was about the 5D and karma of family, the instability with an empress um, taking off from her. And then, um, and right at that time when I wrote that, I was smelling something burnt, like it was just a random smell that came, so a psychic um, download of some sort. So I don't know if there's something burnt or some kind of fire around this, the instability of the Empress, that maybe somebody burned something on the stove or maybe someone had a fire, that kind of thing. But I was smelling something burned. Or he is seen as the one who left a good woman behind or the Empress is moving from the family home. The Divine Masculine is being called the clear blocks of the Queen of Wands who may be intuitive, but is also needy or secretly needy and ignores him, maybe emotionally detached. Um, teaching and learning, again, came up for the Divine Masculine as well as to follow his dreams and self-love, very important right now, okay? The King of Wands offers love and affection to a Queen of Pentacles and children coming together, um, possibly performing for family, juggling to avoid disaster with messenger of truth and saying something mean and childish to a soulmate or partner and kids or just resisting negative self-talk when coming together driving to see a queen of pentacles reversed so someone who's either just ungrounded or a queen of pentacles reversed can be someone who's all about the money but it could just be someone who's ungrounded as well but it looks like he wants to offer love to this person no option but to be excited to rest and meditate possibly losing status and money in the situation, but coming out on top as his real King of Swords upright self. Okay, and then I was getting King of the Hill. Also, a teen or independent female, or his independence is exposed by destiny in judgment of patience of the Queen of Cups and new passion in letting go, detoxing anxiety and a Queen of Wands, or anxiety because of a Queen of Wands, so the Divine Masculine might get a lot of anxiety around this person, maybe they have a bad temper, and cracking, an open, or cracking open their heart for third-party love and coming together to offer love. So that was the energy for the Divine Masculine yesterday. Um, the, I watched The Sea of Trees. That was a very, in, that was a very um, interesting movie to watch last night. And 11.11 was coming up with that. So maybe something good for you to watch. That's with Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey, however you say it. Um, yeah, and in the movie, the other person's favorite book, their favorite color, and their favorite season comes up. So that was interesting. So for the Divine Feminine today, well, first of all, 
I woke up for absolutely no reason at all to look at the clock at 4.44 and went right back to sleep. <laughs> so just saying, okay? And I was like up at like 7.17 this morning. Um, the smell of gas is still coming up for any of you that's significant for. Um, for the Divine Feminine today, it was done at 8.18 this morning. The uh, major arcana were the Empress, Star Seed. So the Empress is the Empress in the Star Seed deck is abundance. Star Seed is the Fool. Emperor is Reason. Karma is the Judgment card. Reflection is the Hermit, and then Luna, of course, is the Moon. Um, there were two Wands, one Cup, and two Pentacles for the Divine Feminine this morning no swords at all which is great to allow her to have it break from her head right the only court card today was the knight of pentacles which was in the spot of the divine feminine how she sees herself the after the card was the king of cups though so that actually the before card and the after card were both kings king of wands and king of cups so they're kind of like in the outlying areas for the divine feminine that she's the knight of pentacles and there's two kings around her king of wands and king of cups the numbers that came up in the coding were just the number 2, 212. Yeah, and that was it. The message was very simple and clear. Um, star seed information was coming up about living in the present moment. And clarion call also came up. But it was all about supporting and it was so interesting when I wrote support I got supposed so it's supposed to but I was getting support post because post sign posts have been coming up as well so supporting supporting um, the twins the two the star seed two love it's all about love and love was love was the card so it's all and it was the when the numerology cards are reversed it's more even more significant and today it was just the love card okay it's all about love so no matter what your confusion is and with whom it doesn't matter if it's your twin or not remember it's always just always about love so support starseed two like be at your post support posts so for the divine feminine there could be multiple scenarios here but I was getting for, right away um, like people getting over it like any loss or regret whatever is between them there's a queen of pentacles and queen of cups just over it right getting past something emotional and these could be uh, two good friends in union side by side looking at their each looking at their own tools which are different but weren't looking at each other at the time so maybe it's just coming together with someone to iron some things out just to get feelings back in order both facing the past the king of wands shaman is does not show their face and I was also it was very interesting I was getting this king of wands is still being back in the 70s so they might like a lot of 70s stuff like 70s music but I was totally getting like uh, the material that was in my house in the 70s, like that orange or yellow, you know, stuff that we had back then. It was being, it was very clear that it was bringing up the 70s. So some one, some of the masculines might really love the 70s time period, and they may be kind of stuck back in that time. I was also getting um, the King of Swords. On the other hand shows himself like the king of wands is hiding his face he's coming out slowly but he's hiding his face the king of swords here as a clarifier is showing himself but hiding the truth ready to use his truth at a moment's notice to defend himself to the queen of cups on grass a man in black boots up to his shins or knees in grass or weed he's had it up to here so i was getting someone who's had it up to here whether it's whether someone's not mowing the lawn or someone's getting high and spending all their money that kind of stuff but i was getting grass and weed a lot here 
okay? So, and this was in relation to, again, the King of Swords. Ready to use, he's hiding his truth. So he's not telling the truth, but he's ready to use it at a moment's notice to defend himself to a Queen of Cups on grass, or just overgrown grass, or men in black, so a man in black boots up to his shins or knees, because the grass hasn't been mowed, or in grass. So either this, this King of Swords or the Queen of Cups here is may be getting high and the other person has had it up to here. They don't want to deal with that anymore. Money is tight at home, so it might be because they're spending money on it. Uh, the Queen of Cups is holding on like Scrooge out of fear, not expressing feelings or holding back communications hanging in limbo to see another to try to see another perspective and coming together and getting real about conserving energy of their own union and home like maybe a, maybe a mini wake up call like if they don't want something bad to happen to their in their relationship also um, underlying energy of worth waiting for was coming up for the divine feminine and right under it was playfulness so I was getting a Queen of Wands energy. A queen of Wands energy may be having sex in the kitchen for, for a celebration of some kind, whether it's the holidays, uh, birthday comes up as well. It's funny because it was my friend's birthday I had lunch with today. Um, leaving the truth outside. And then not talking, but then, but then staying in due to danger outside. Like I was getting like wild animals or horsing around. So it's getting the energy of like this Queen of Wands. Like like the sex was fine, but then not talking because they're not really interested in talking. They just wanted the sex. And then the other, maybe the masculine, the situation not wanting her to go out because of snow or I was getting um, wild animals outside so like maybe there's a, a, a masculine who's insecure about his relationship and he's worried that she may be messing around or horsing around out outside okay so there was just some random energies about that stuff and not understanding in different relationships so I'm not getting this as I'm getting like this is definitely a karmic relationship, not seeing the codependency on each other, right? So the one the one doesn't go out because the other one is fearful that they're cheating or just doing something inappropriate. But the other one not is doing what they say because they're because they're supported by that person. So they need their support because they can't support themselves. So that's some some of the energy I was getting. Also, surrender came up as really important for the divine masculine. And that was at 9.04 this morning, actually. I mean, for the Divine Feminine. I was getting um, the Five of Swords guy, right? Which is really brain wars, but also can be somebody nasty. It's really, it's verbal and, and thought energy, right? But it's really nasty energy. It's what we do when we circle around, like torturing ourselves. Like you're your own worst enemy. Well, this is this guy's lying down his sword, or obsessing in their mind. As the Queen of Cups is looking to see what what gifts she is getting from Father Christmas or Father Time. A new chandelier, emeralds, gold, a hat or a pin. And I was getting a ram, or possibly a Taurus has entrapped a bird, or a female. I was also getting this female as a cartoon eagle type face. Like, I don't know if they, they have a nickname that's like a bird. But I'm getting like a cartoon eagle. But I'm getting this ram has entrapped, so the ram masculine has entrapped the bird feminine, has clipped their wings. All of a sudden, he's taking away her stuff, but keeping the satellite. All right, so that was clear. So someone's spending too much, and the masculine's putting his foot down, not allowing her, taking away like extra activities and stuff, but he's not getting rid of his satellite, okay? That was the energy I was getting. This King of Cups reversed, 
is maybe suddenly taking off to sell all their stuff, making a getaway, leaving the relationship, taking what is his, or lying to get out of the house or possibly cheating. I was also seeing a Saturn alignment. I don't know if it's, it was showing me like right between Aquarius and Capricorn, I guess Saturn's in Capricorn, but there's some kind of alignment with right between Capricorn and Aquarius, which I'm not an astrologer, so I don't know. I know Saturn's been in Capricorn, but there's some kind of alignment that's, this Saturn alignment is causing this energy. The Queen of Cups no longer making demands. So this is like the mas this masculine in this situation is saying, the Queen of Cups is no longer gonna make demands to me. Someone is being tight, so forcing the others to give up the activities, or someone is lying, cheating, or stealing from the family home, or actually the home. So there may be a war over a home, but someone's putting their foot down. Recently, a family of three or four is energized and happy, but, but with negative self-talk, stalking and lying, one, one may be very satisfied because they're getting their way all the time, the other is lying and unhappy. Or someone is happy and arrogant, getting attention for themselves by lying. So they're getting it inauthentically. One may drink too much or just thrives on attention in a negative way at home. Feminine energy is putting it all out there where the masculine energy here is hiding and manipulating, right? Because the masculine plots or strategizes. That's the masculine energy. And this can be in either one of them, whoever's the more masculine or feminine, okay? So emotionally detached for the masculine energy and or manipulative or lying and stalking to get the truth. All right? So whether the, ma the more mas this is whoever's the more masculine of the relationship may be out there stalking, plotting, and strategizing. Because he's not going to let the other person get their way all the time, whether it's her or him. However, I'm getting that we get to this point because the masculine didn't stand up for himself in the first place, okay? So, and this is regarding both twins. For both twins, that their inner masculine didn't stand up for themselves in the first place, allowing the karmic masculines and feminines to always get their way because the twins want to keep the peace. That then uh, taught the karmics to expect everything their way by demanding and having tantrums or manipulating through withholding of emotions, time, money, and or sex. Now the divine masculine and divine feminines have to put their foots down, their foots down, have to put their foot down and say no more, cutting off the karmic manipulative techniques. The foundation here for the divine feminine is all about the emperor energy, but the emperor who's weak, stressed out, possibly crying and conflicted over having extended a false hand or actually f maybe somebody overextended themselves like they offered money or time or energy whatever to someone that they didn't really have also or playing sports to release their aggressions pent-up aggressions or they're actually f just fighting okay arguing fighting physically so central, the central energy is all around the empress. We have the foundation as the, as the emperor and who's weak, and the empress is the central energy. It's wide open, like her heart's wide open. But I was getting open to energetic attack, so be careful of energy vampires. Um, she's also open to blocks, no work, stubbornness, and feeling like she is without options, but keeping her heart open, even to rejection, and those left out in the cold who may have twisted the facts into tiny little violins to, to, an extent, to extend an olive branch, okay? So the challenge for the Divine Feminine is the star seeds, which is a fresh start, a leap of faith, away from things that are not peaceful, away from, um, and I was getting the uh, Knight of Wands here as not peaceful, so if that's, and the Knight of Wands is about just uh, quick movement, some passionate energy going out and running errands, it's that kind of energy, or the guy is running in to have sex. But I'm getting that this person is not peaceful. So taking a leap of faith away from things that are not peaceful, away from rejection or emotional immaturity, away from those who deem themselves better than you, away from injustice and lack energies. 
getting busy burning the past and those trying to control and manipulate, causing frustration at night toward the full moon as we build up. Walking away from the Knight of Wands, who may be a user, you know, that sexual energy, to continue to speak your truth and nurture others, being aware of energy vampires and not offering all of your time freely. You know, it's fine, but there's a limit, you know, you have to, whatever becomes unhealthy has to, it has to change, okay? So now in the head and heart of the Divine Feminine is all about judgment and karma of the Emperor and Empress and their leap of faith together. The Emperor may have found out the truth about, about or from a Queen of Wands, or, he may have, or the Emperor may have demanded the truth about a Queen of Wands or from a Queen of Wands in rejection of romance and focusing on burning the past. So this could be in a karmic relationship as well. So it looks like in a karmic relationship, or it could be the twin relationship that the emperor found out a truth or is now demanding the truth because he knows someone's lying to him. Or why is the partner like withholding sex or time or energy, whatever it is, he's getting pissed and demanding the truth. And I'm definitely getting that the feminine energy was rejecting the masculine in romance and focusing on burning the past, she suffers and stresses refusing to see the truth of a king of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords. So the queen of pentacles reversed can be Aquarius emperor who's all about his money, but also can be an emperor losing money and status who's healing and working on his dream. Okay, so there's two different King of Pentacles reversed. He's either the Aquarius energy or not the Aquarius energy. The Aquarius energy was coming up here as negative, but also just the earth sign energy was coming up as just him being willing to lose his, his title and, pos and money to work on his healing and his dreams with the Queen of Swords, who may be that third party. Okay? And the Queen of Swords was coming up as energy who's trying to get out of a sticky situation who may be stuck in a third party situation whether it's a twin, a friend, or a family member who is very close. And that was coming up at 1010. So it doesn't have to be the third party twin situation, it can be any third party situation where this third party just doesn't want to be part of it anymore, they just kind of want it, they're in that sticky situation. So the Queen of Wands is deciding to free themselves to go home just so that their partner can leave. So it was, I was getting the energy of like the masculine partner like kind of demanded that the Queen of Wands come home. And then as soon as she comes home, that masculine leaves to go do something else. I was getting Aquarius implementing, but pretending not to know about being dumped or feeling spiritually overwhelmed. So they're pretending not to know or not to actually be spiritually overwhelmed, even if they are, but actually disconnected from loving themselves or secretly wanting a new love, or preparing for a new love they already have. I was getting walking away from being judged at home, or being left alone, and energies around this stuff was Aries, Taurus, and Aquarius. I was also getting another cluster of Aquarius, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Aquarius is coming up as frustrated, wanting to control Scorpio nurturing to steal energy from others. The Aquarius frustrated wanted to control. The Scorpio is nurturing because they want to steal energy from others. So be careful of manipulations here. And I know that there's been a lot of warnings just in astrological readings recently of be careful of believing everyone because it may not, there may be ulterior motives here. Okay, and also has to do with Neptune and just the believing that you know dreams are possible and some of it may be real but some of it may be illusion as well. So just be careful about those energies this week. Um, also getting Pisces. I 
I was getting Pisces energy, maybe um, has a cancer flame, like newly, could be a child as well. I was getting a powerful energy with a Pisces who may have a new cancer twin flame that they didn't, you know, that it's just new for them. And this person may be draining her energy. Both, I was getting both Aquarius and Pisces energy are transforming. Aquarius more regarding their intuition, Pisces more regarding their dreams and healing themselves. Scorpio using their intuitive abilities to heal. Um, Aquarius and Scorpio were coming up as one set. Scorpio and Pisces are dealing with each other. Pisces and Cancer dealing with each other. So you see there's a lot of water energy here in Aquarius. Situations of dreams, healing, death, transformation, psychic abilities, and moving, traveling, or ascending toward the full moon energies as we build. Water signs are coming up as ahead of the pack in their dreams and healing, which makes sense because water, you know, water signs tend to be dealing with their emotions on a regular basis their whole life. So um, I was also getting soon that um, the hermit comes up. So that's either just the divine feminine going into solitude again to reflect, or it could actually just be a Virgo. It doesn't mean you're in solitude. It could just be getting together with a Virgo or some kind of professional or wise man or woman. So, and this, this, this hermit energy is without affection or stability, but is the magician. It's coming up as the magician who can also be a doctor or a pharmacist or a spiritualist. So this is like our journey, like the divine feminine, not getting affection or necessarily having a lot of stability, but they're coming into their magician embodiment of whether it be a magician, maybe they really are a magician, or just your, your psychic energies, or just being a spiritualist or a pharmacist or a doctor, but some kind of professional in that sense. But with all of these people, it's about their, the powerful tools that they have and sharing their knowledge of as within so without and the sun and the moon all things polarized and releasing anxiety and stress that it's all good also having energy here coming up between virgo leo and cancer gemini aries and taurus and then i was getting night and day day and night okay under the stars with you the divine feminine is coming up here as the knight of pentacles and knight of pentacles is the workhorse but it's also about moving forward with work. Um, and in the, the Syrian star seed, it may be actually a proposal. Because in the star seed, it literally has a stone in their hand that they're offering. So it's offering of something practical, but it could also be a stone. The, the Knight of Pentacles is coming up here as dropping their burdens, whether it's physical or energetic burdens, not working or overworking, and then you or someone else is running or taking something from you, stealing your thoughts, your words, or your intellectual property, or possibly you're proposing to take a, lo a load off, maybe deciding not to work and steal away for the day. Okay, so these are the different scenarios for how the Divine Feminine is seeing herself today. It was just 4848, which is the totally going within card. It's the Eight of Cups twice. So that's all about your spiritual journey. It's going within or walking away from something that no longer serves you to find that missing piece. But the cards that came up for you from Romance Angels are to trust. It's all about having faith and to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. No matter what there may be between you and other people, it's always just about love to stay in your heart, not in the ego thoughts that keep rotating in your head. Be honest and have faith. Around the Divine Feminine is a passionate exchange. Um, there, may be, there may be judgment or a decision for a happy family and twins, kids. There's a King of Wands energy comes up here. So this is around the Divine Feminine. So there's King of Wands energy, happy family, kids, twins. All that stuff is there coming up but also the judgment thereof, which doesn't have to be negative, it could just be deciding on something or hearing the call. 
as that was one of the energies. The King of Wands I was getting is hi has been hiding at home, possibly with our kids, but hearing the call to his feminine, so he's feeling that um, polarized pull. The Divine Feminine may be dealing with karmic friends or family who seem like who seem like flames, like you know they're really good people, and you you're surprised that they're not um, uh, twin flames as well. But also they could be. Um, they also could be people who like attention, and there's also sexiness coming up here. So, you know, so maybe someone who likes to flirt a lot for attention. And possibly wanting to just steal away. The Divine Masculine also could be here outside the Divine Feminine, just dealing with their kids, their own family's judgment of them, and some kind of uh, family or partner obligation due to a work connection, whether it's a gathering that they have to go to, they may not want to. So it may seem like your Divine Masculine is with a karmic when they're actually just going out of obligation. But feeling, um, but actually feeling the magnetic pull toward their twin. So like I said, the, the uh, Divine Masculine may be at family obligations and may have to spend time with their karmic, whether they're together or not together, but may actually be feeling the pull toward their twin. Like I said, sexual energy definitely is back, connecting the twins. For the feminine, clear, your, clear blocks to surrendering, uh, blocks to offering love to the King of Wands, um, and just block it. And it's like the universe was showing that he's just blocked to you as he must come to you and not the other way around. There's an opportunity to let go of all stress and anxiety. Allow the love to come to you without judging karmics who may be shadowy. They may have some shadowy sides or vengeful sides or just want attention or sex from you. Maybe a date or a little romance with your flame, who's, who has now split up or is divided. There's lots of socializing and drinking going on. And just as I wrote that, the sun brightened outside, so a lot will be exposed. So be careful what you do if you are out drinking. And again, love was the main theme of the read today. It's all about love. Or the king of pentacles, sweeping her off her feet. Possibly ordered by his Sagittarius karmic to go have sex and get it out of his system in return. So this is a couple scenarios. One of the scenarios obviously is not going to be for everyone, but I was getting a situation where the karmic like knows about the twin and is basically telling the Divine Masculine to go have sex with her, get it out of your system, then come back. Because she, she has no question in her mind that he will come back, without a doubt. So she's telling him to do this to figure out what he wants. She assumes that there's no way that he won't return. Or it's also, it could be a situation where the Divine Masculine gives the Divine Feminine a drink. Um, he, maybe he wants to give her a drink when they come together so that she won't, maybe she'll judge him more sweetly if she has a drink when they come together to talk about things. Also, um, the spiritual sexual energy rushes in at night or maybe building up towards this full moon. But now, charging in for real love as the King of Cups' eyes are on you. The King of Cups, though, is reversed. Maybe manipulating you. Maybe wants your keys or your codes or your abilities. Or emotionally detached from a workplace. Maybe he's left his job. Or maybe just not getting along at work with the others. There's also King of Swords reversed energy here who, uh, it's, and I'm still getting at the masculine, him resting in a bad mood. But it doesn't have to be the same. It could be a couple different uh, uh, energies coming up. But it, I was coming up as the King of Swords reversed, like in their bad mood and their lower energy, but possibly blowing the whistle to give up the battle. And then I was getting, making a call. So, you know, in a competition or a boxing match, when they're down for the count, they're calling the match. That's the energy I was getting. The Divine Masculine sitting in uncomfortable emotions. 
while giving to others at work. But this could be, you know, this could be a karmic energy as well. But it was coming up as uh, masculine energy, so it could be feminine who's more masculine as well. So wherever it fits. Also, um, this energy of giving a hand to those who have given up. So this could be karmic energy or the divine masculine. Um, but just both, I was getting from both some karmic energies and the divine masculine energies that they were like, you know, they're in a bad mood where normally they'd be fine giving to others at work, but they're in a bad mood today because they're not comfortable with their emotions, but giving a hand to those who've given up, um, maybe some who have been laid up or standing in a bad or staying in a bad emotional situation. So this person or people are, even though they're in a bad mood, they're still coming to the aid of these people. So there's a home or this could be the home or it could be the union of the twins of a king of wands of uh, who's an emperor with a proposal of passionate exchange so it could be with family or a passionate exchange about a loving family with an empress in a leap of faith there may be some solitude and surrender in this leap of faith leaving karma behind by the full moon and then comes in this king of cups who's reversed so I want to tell you, um, I, uh, all, for some reason I wanted to let you know the energies of all of the court cards that came up in the read from the clarifiers, because that kind of clarifies things as well, as well as some of the, um, the majors. And I noticed that the, King of so the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands were not in the read anywhere, and they've been coming up constantly. So whatever the Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands were doing in the reads for the Divine Feminine, that has happened now, because they're not coming up anymore. Also, so there might have been some kind of announcement of truth and then excitement and inspiration around this announcement and now the announcement's been done so it's passed. So the, let's see, for the kings, I'll just tell you, uh, well we all king, all four kings came up. The only king that was upright was the king of wands, okay? So like I said, King of Cups is reversed, so maybe not a great person to mess with. King of Wands is coming up upright. The Emperor is upright as well. The Empress was reversed. So that's in lack, or it could just be someone who's really pissed, <laughs> who's in control of other people, or it could be someone who miscarried. But this Emperor was upright, Empress was reversed. She could also um, just be having a bad day. The Of the Queens... All of the queens were upright today, so it was definitely a good day for the feminines to get together w with whomever, whether it's family, friends. Um, the knights that came up today, uh, there's no, the knight of swords, like I said, is not here. And the knight, the knight of cups and the knight of wands were upright, so positive energies for those two things. So whatever you were getting busy with today regarding energy, just doing errands or whatever, wands and then cups, offering love, those things were really positive today. But the the uh, Knight of Pentacles was reversed. So not much in work today or getting things practical done. The pages that came up today, there was no Page of Wands, like I said. The only page that was upright was the Page of Pentacles. So that was interesting because the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles was the only one that was reversed. So no moving forward with work today, but the Page of Pentacles is upright. So there may be learning um, opportunities, invitations today, okay? And then the, the page of swords and cups were both reversed. So watch out for kids today. A lot of them are going to be moody. Moody and nasty. <laughs> and then the major cards. Leo was give or take. They could, be, they could be positive or negative. Cancer, not good. Gemini, not good. Aries was upright. Aquarius was upright, even though it wasn't so great with the king of... Uh, the Aquarius with the king of pentacles as one person... It was reversed because the, the King of Pentacles was reversed. But if it's just an Aquarian, like Sun sign, that was coming up as upright. So Aquarius, Aries were upright, and Leo's not so bad. But the ones that were definitely reversed were Cancer, Gemini, Taurus, and Libra. Okay, and so I'm going to pull you a couple cards. 
Let's see what we have. All right, so we have the Ascension deck. And it's 60 of 6, so it's just 60 of 6. So that's the, um, the 60 of 6 of swords. And then the 6, of course, is the lovers, which is about that practical, affectionate love. Okay. You add some wands in there, then you get that passion. But the lovers is really about true love and affection. It's about being one soul. Okay. So everybody take a deep breath. Today is November 16. I forgot to tell you what, about the day. The 16 is the tower card. But it could just be positive things, sudden events, okay? Um, the tower energy with the day adding up to the 38 was the uh, Queen of Cups. So really positive energy for the Queen of Cups and the tower. So it's maybe something very nice. It's a nice surprise today. Okay. So what is the advice for everyone today? It's November. <sighs> November 16, 2018. What is the advice for everyone today? What is the advice? As everything falls out. But it wants nature. Nature and fire. Fire is 13. Okay, so that's that death and transformation. Right, so we're transmuting fire. The affirmation, which is a 4, 13. I invoke fire to light my way to the new golden age. Okay. So use your violet flame to transmute anything that needs transmutation. It's also about transformation. It's 13 is the death card. It's about death and rebirth, which came up. Nature comes up as the card. Number three, which is the empress, who's all about nature. Okay. Mother Earth. The nature kingdom was created from the heart of God. The ninth dimensional master Pan directs the elemental beings that support nature and Archangel Perlimiac, angel of nature, lovingly holds and protects nature as it energizes you, raises your frequency and purifies and heals you. Your guidance is to honor nature's beauty and life force. If possible, go out into the meadows, forests, mountains, lakes, or rivers and let nature recharge, balance, and heal you. A love of and respect for nature is essential for your ascension and that of the planet. The affirmation is, I thank, bless, and love the entire nature kingdom. Okay? So it's very clear to get out in nature. Make sure you transmute negative energies and ground yourself in nature and meditation. Okay? For the past life deck. Take another deep breath. All right, so for this November 16, 2018, what is the energy? What is our advice? What is our advice? Got two cards in the bottom is love life. Okay, so beautiful roses, nature, love. So love was the, um, the main card for the read today, and nature was the main uh, the card from the Ascension deck. Okay? So everything is natural. Cards that came up from this deck are Scribe or Writer okay. and Authority Figures, which has been coming up a lot. Okay? Remember, and putting, the, putting your foot down, okay? That's definitely coming up. So we have um, a candle here. We have a scroll that's sealed, and seal came up in the in the sand art, as well as the old-fashioned pen and ink. So there may be some legal documents that you need to take care of, and definitely everyone does since we have to sign up for insurance right now. But there may be something else that may come. Some of the, you who are dealing with the courts. Um, may get something finalized or something in writing, so contracts. Ooh, I was just getting, ooh, what is it, Tonker, Tonker Toys? That's definitely what I was getting. That 
was weird. Um, yeah, I'm also seeing the bracelet. Someone might be wearing a bracelet from their twin. Sealed with a kiss. Yeah, there's either some kind of judgment or coming together here. Maybe a peaceful settlement. Okay. Now for... The journey of love. Take another deep breath. It's just it's just 105.50, and that was oh, it's 106. So we have love again, and a new beginning. 105. 105.06. So 50 and six. Six came up again, and 50 is the uh, ten of cups, which is happiness, full contentment with your family. Everyone take another breath. All right, this is November 16, 2018. What is the advice for everyone watching today? What is the advice? Okay, we have bottom of the deck is the lovers. So we have love life and lovers. Some really nice energies. And we just hit 106.46, which is the six of cups, the two children, the twins in the garden. Okay, the black and white of this. So the lovers come up, but it's also 57, which is the Three of Swords, so you may be healing this. And the card that came up was the One, the Magician, the Heart Fire. And we got Fire and we got the Magician, both of them came up. It's just 10711. 711, I think I woke up at 711 this morning. And Heart Fire is really red, it's a rose again with the gold, the gold Christ light in the middle and the shadow aspects. A little bit of shadow everywhere, which is normal. I'm going to read you number one, Heart Fire. Okay. Heart Fire. Passion is igniting within you. It's not a time when things will remain still, even if the change is only sensed as a subtle stirring. Underneath the surface of things. Even if slow at first, passion will unfold from within your heart, soon to be burning bright like a sun unrestrained. You are learning how to ride waves of passion through eruptions of heat and descent into coolness, bearing the absence of fire only to realize it returning to you again. Ride its waves knowing that passionate bliss will always return to a heart that is on fire with love for life. The coolness allows us to experience the heat. Once you realize that the fire emerging from within you will ebb and flow, you will trust in its presence. You'll realize that whether your passionate fire is obvious, drawing you into life or dwelling quietly within, Regaining power from the deepest sources of your being, soon to rise once more, is a constant in your heart. Accept the fire of your heart and know that it's how you are meant to be, on fire with love for all that is. This oracle brings a message for you. Trust the passion and fire of your heart to guide your decisions now. What would make you feel most alive? Choose that. If you're feeling a lack of genuine passion in your life, take comfort that it is awakening in your own heart now, bringing something that is in long in rest back to life and the poem reads life unfolds in wondrous ways and time together fills the days with unexpected gifts beyond our wildest dreams like open heart as feelings start the face to face the longing when we part our souls know this is more than what it seems in gratitude i offer prayer with thanks for this love so rare asking guidance guide Asking guidance on this sweet sojourn, the answers come in tears that flow, emotions raw and smiles that show. Becoming one is worth the wait until I can return. Okay, so it's just all about trusting, trusting in nature, which came up as well in the cycles of nature. That no matter how far you feel you are from your heart, that you'll always come back, or your passion, or your relationship, whatever it may be. There are always ebbs and flows in every relationship. So always to have faith and trust in that, okay? 
We're getting long, so I'm going to let you guys go, but make sure to um, drink your water and get your rest and ground and all that kind of stuff. Meditate. And uh, thank you so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and your comments. Um, please do subscribe. And if you need anything from me, my email and my website are below. And rise and be loved. Have an amazing week, guys. Bye.